It's that time of year again as players lace up their skates, step back on the court, hit the mat, and jump back into the pool. Hi everybody, I'm Dylan DeRiso, and welcome to this DAF Media Special where we preview the 2021-2022 winter sports season. State titles are back on the line and the student athletes could not be any more excited. The pandemic forced the cancellation of state tournaments each of the last two seasons. This season, teams get the chance to not only compete for conference titles, but state titles as well. No condensed regular season schedules, a full slate of games. Wrestling gets off the mat this season, returning to the winter sports calendar after a year's absence. There was not one single wrestling match contested last season, but that changes this season, and the DHS wrestling room is very active. Despite adversity, we're still sticking with the sport, even though it can be the hardest thing we've ever done. It shows a lot of heart that we're sticking with it and will continue to stick with it throughout the season. Oh yeah, we feel great about the season, you know. We've got a lot of, especially in the higher weight classes, we've got a lot of really good guys. We feel really good about it, yeah. The boys ice hockey team is back on the rink after a head coach Mac Bud and the wave are hoping to make a run for the whale after two seasons cut short. The team is filled with a lot of young new players after losing 12 seniors at the conclusion of last season. With current seniors who have received substantial time during their tenures, the leadership for the wave hopes to foster a strong new young team to be competitive this year. Getting on the boys about working hard and playing everything game-like has been really important. Keeping competitive nature up high, that really drives people wanting to play for each other more because you just build those relationships better. We're really excited for this upcoming year because we have a lot of senior leadership. We did lose a lot of our productivity, about 80% from last year, but we have a lot of young, gritty guys, a lot of new talent, so there is only one end goal, and that's to win a state championship. And uh, we just got to be ready to play and um, ready for the season. got to take it one game at a time and make sure we win every game. Uh, definitely want to win the state championship, but got to take it one ga game at a time first. Girls hockey, meanwhile, led by longtime head coach Jamie Tropsa, will remain extremely competitive this year as their goal to win the FCAC remains the same. They finished last season with a loss in the big game, but are ready to go and make a comeback where once again their biggest challenge will be New Canaan, who they faced three times last year. That everyone works really hard and pushes each other in practice. And last year we lost a lot of seniors who were forwards, so they were goal scorers. Um, so this year we have a lot of freshmen. Um, and I think they're really proving themselves in the games. Expectations are high for the boys and girls basketball teams. Here's our very own Cooper Puff with more. Thanks, Dylan. The boys' basketball team looks to punch their ticket into the conference playoffs this season, but it will be tough as the FCAC is loaded with talent. Head coach Troy Bentley has a mix of youth and experience. He'll be without senior guard Miles Drake for the early part of the season because of an injury, but the Blue Wave have high expectations. Yeah, uh, I think we've got all the tools that it would take to be at the top of the FCAC this year. Got a strong senior class. A lot of good juniors, sophomores. So uh, even though it's the first couple of days of practice, we've had really good days, a lot of good chemistry, and uh, with the football players back, definitely help. And uh, we look to start the season off on a good note. Really optimistic. Last year we had a great year. Uh, you know, won our first round of FCX. A lot of guys coming back. Uh, you know, the FCX is always good. We know that. So it's really just about what team's going to work harder and execute when it comes down to it. Melba Chambers, meanwhile, returns as the head coach of the Darien girls basketball team after sitting out last season because of the pandemic. Like the boys team, the girls have their sights set on the postseason. I think we have a lot of potential this season, especially, um, you know, last year not having like an actual FCAC tournament or really a state tournament really sucks. So we're coming in this year like ready to go, just guns firing. We're a lot older, stronger. We're working harder in practice. Um, we're all working for that playing time. So it's really competitive, and I feel like that brings a lot more talent out there. Girls have some big home games down the stretch of the season against rivals New Canaan and Danbury. Back to you, Dylan, in the studio. Thanks, Cooper. The Darien boys' swim and dive team is just three years removed from a second-place finish at the Class L State meet. Despite a loaded schedule that includes Greenwich and New Canaan, the wave is focused on making a big splash this season. So we're looking forward to those relays and uh, definitely going to be some good times. And it's it's going to be a good benchmark to see where we're at and where we need to be going forward. Uh, our goal this year is to win states, win our state championship, and uh, I think we'll be able to do it this year. Uh, the team's been working really hard. 
this past uh, couple weeks. I think that this team is an amazing dynamic and at the end of the day, we're basically one big family and I think that's what matters most. Really, you just can't slack off. You can't be like missing uh, sets or missing swims, you know. You just got to do what the coach says and that's how you get better. We're really excited to be back. Um, this is our first year where we're back with a full dual meet schedule. So um, I think we have 11 dual meets up on deck and seven of them are home. So we're excited to be hosting a lot of those um, and there's going to be some good competition. The warm weather has allowed for the boys and girls indoor track teams to train outdoors. But for the first time in two years, there will be an indoor season. Team records, personal bests, and titles are all in play for these student athletes. Yeah, absolutely. I think we have some really promising uh, people on the team this year, some, some great upperclassmen and some really promising underclassmen as well. I think there's a lot of potential here and I'm very excited to work with it. And, and so each person plays a specific part in our team environment and everyone's super inclusive and supportive. So having a team is really fun and a really great thing. And we're really excited to do well and have our real championship meets this year. Obviously a lot of guys Either they're starting off this their first season or they're kind of just testing out new things. So to be able to get out there and really improve, it's a, it's a great experience. This last year all we had was some dual meets and just a couple team, just in general with the team events. But now we get to compete with all different schools again. It's going to be so much fun. I'm really excited. I think for the last like two years, we've obviously all been training, getting ready to hopefully have this indoor season. So really happy that we're getting positive news back, um, that we're going to actually be able to compete indoors and have our usual um, like events that are indoors. So I think it'll be really fun, exciting. <laughs> Everyone's excited. After last year, we didn't really have a season. We had two um, little meets, but everyone's excited to get out there and train and work hard and get there. A lot of us came from cross country so um, it's a bit of an adjustment from the distance running but um, it's really helpful you know um, times especially last year progressed a lot from the indoor to the outdoor. I'm really excited I know a bunch of guys out here we've got a couple of guys who are going for some school records that should be really awesome if we can pull that off but I know everybody here is very excited. Darianne has long had one of the most successful public high school boys and girls squash programs in the state. Both teams look to continue that tradition this season. For the second straight season, the Ox Ridge Hunt Club is home to the Blue Wave squash teams. Yeah, so we're very excited. We think we're going to have a great season. Um, we didn't get to know each other that well last year because of COVID, but we're now at Ox Ridge, which is very fun. We also have a lot of matches nearby at Chelsea Piers. Uh, I think we have a really supportive group of guys. There's a lot of natural talent, so I think we just got to keep working together as a team and staying focused and we can really accomplish whatever we put our minds to. We have a lot of new freshmen this year coming in with a lot of new talent um, and we started off with a really great strong season so I'm excited to just keep that up and keep getting wins. We've had some su successful wins so far but you know just have fun go out there try your best and I'm very excited for this season to see what we can do and we have a great team new players old players so yeah very excited. And our older players as well are looking really talented. They've been putting a lot of work in the off season. So with our newer guys and our older guys to mentor them, we're gonna, we're gonna be looking really powerful this year. The Darien Gymnastics team is hard at work inside the Darien YMCA, preparing for the season. The Wave has some young, talented gymnasts to go along with some solid senior leadership. I think we're really gonna do well this year. We have a lot of commitment and motivation. Um, I think we really wanna uh, qualify for FCX. I think that's a goal for our, us and um, I think everyone's really happy to be here back in practice. Um, I'm so excited for this season and I think everyone else is too. We've been working so hard, we've been practicing really hard, everyone's been coming motivated and ready to work. Now we can actually practice as a whole team and I've really appreciated that because I get to know all the girls more and I think we bond more as a team and that just makes us better competitors. The Darien ski team hasn't been able to hit the slopes yet this year because of the unseasonably warm winter weather, but when they do, the Wave looks to compete for a championship. Mount Southington is once again the home of the Blue Wave ski team. Well, we just try to get conditioned as a team. Usually we're out here playing soccer, but uh, we do some stretches, yoga, and then a few uh, uh, static stretches, and then planks and sit-ups and push-ups, but pretty much just trying to get conditions for the season. I think that the energy is really high this year, um, especially compared to other years like last year, COVID, 
it caused the energy to be really low. But I think everyone's really excited to get back to the normal season and the normal co competitions and races. Um, we have a really strong group, um, both the girls and the boys team. Um, lots of our juniors and seniors are super um, excited um, just to get out there and all the new upcoming freshmen and sophomores are also excited to get on the slopes and compete. Thanks to a large turnout of student athletes, the Darien competitive cheer team is the strongest it's been in quite some time. The Wave hopes to make some noise at FCX this year. So much that goes behind the scenes, especially in cheerleading, because in cheer you always see the facials and the beautiful outfits and stuff like that, but behind it is so much work. We're all really excited, especially since we didn't compete last year. So it's, um, it's a big opportunity for especially the freshmen and then the sophomores as well. We hope you've enjoyed this DAF Media special previewing the 2021-2022 winter sports season. and We can't wait to see you around for the big year. I'm Dylan DeRiso. We'd like to thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you soon.